this is Eric, aka JunkGTP from Instagram. So, I got a custom license plate, and I've been wanting to replace my screws. Right now, I have the ugly metal screws that are rusted. So, I wanted to get some Downstar bolts for this, so they don't sell a they don't sell a direct replacement for my car. I have a Pontiac uh, 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. So today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I contacted Downstar and I asked them what I can use to, for a license plate, no bolts. So I told them I have some of the fender washers, which these are M6 by one thread, I believe. So I contacted Downstar and he told me that I can get some rev nuts. So I got some M6 rev nuts. So I got, uh, I think six of them. I got I got enough to do my four back here and then two up front, which I might not need the two for back here because these are just rubber pieces. I could pop these out and stick them in there and do that. But anyways, I'm going to have be using some M M6 rev nuts from Downstar. So the tools I will need is a drill. And I got this drill bit to do a pilot hole, but I'm basically going to drill out this plastic for the M the for the M6 uh, rev nut to go inside of there. And then I was going to either if I could get the hole small enough and pound it in, and probably put some JV weld in there. So I was going to try to pop this out and then drill a hole. But I was trying to pop this out earlier, and I don't want to break the plastic. So I'm just going to drill a hole with it on the car. So basically, I got my drill bit. I got a step step drill bit on. So I'm just going to drill drill it, and then see how much bigger I need to make the hole. Should need to be bigger than that. So this might be the right size. So that's the right size. So basically I just got to get the right size drill bit, drill out the rest of the inside of the plastic for this to fit in. Do the same thing with this one and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. Okay so I had to bust out my electric drill so I need a bigger drill bit to drill this out all the way in. I don't want to go too deep. Nice thing about these, they're long plastic. They're probably about uh, an inch and a half long on the inside. So there's plenty of space on the inside of there. So I just got to try to get... And I need to go one more drill bit size. I just need to drill it as long as this rev nut so it can go inside. But I need a bigger drill bit. So I'll be right back. So I got a bigger drill bit, so I'm trying to drill it out best I can. I can't see what size the drill bit is, but I don't want to open this up too much. But I can barely push it in with my finger. So I think I'm just going to get a hammer, then pound them in, see if that works. I'd rather do that than put JB Weld in there. And then I can get those two. And then the bottoms, I could drill drill us out. It's a square though. I could drill us out and put ones in on the bottom. If not, it's not a huge deal. But I'd rather have some nice looking bolts from Downstar instead of having some junky looking metal screws. Okay, so I got <clears throat> got one rivet nut in. So I just took the drill bit and drilled it the hole out a little bit more. So basically I'm just taking the rev nut and pushing it in as far as I can get it by just normal pressure. Then I'm taking the hammer and just pounding that in. I decided to take my reverse light off because I don't want to smash smash that. So then I just gotta pound that one in. And then I'll have a spot to put my downstar bolts on. 
So then here's the bolt, it's an M6 Allen head. Then I have washers for it too. So it just threads on, you know. So that'll make it make it look a lot nicer. Then I'm still debating if I want to do the bottoms or not. I might do that another day. It's starting to sprinkle on me. So see how far I get with this. And just like that, <clears throat> the downstart bolts and washers and the rib nut are in. So I was able to get the rib nut in. This is the M6 bolt. And just get your Allen head. And I'll just turn it on. But I have I have a purple and a teal. I have two different color washers, but this is just to show you. You can get any color a washer from Downstar. But also, if you want to see inside of here, that's where how my mounts up. You can see the rev nut kind of. So on my car, I have plenty of space to put the rev nuts in. So the bottom, I'll probably do another day since it's raining right now. Okay, so here's what it looks like without the license plate on. So here I just have the bolt. So these are threaded in the rib nuts, just like normal bolts would. Here's I got a washer on it. So these tighten down pretty good. So now I'm probably going to drill out the bottom. I think I might try that now and figure something out because I'll probably have to glue these ones in because these are sitting in plastic, so those shouldn't move and those are super super tight. So I basically pounded pounded those in with a hammer. So yeah, it'll look cool. Okay, so I was able just to take my drill bit, drill out these bottom holes after I pull those rubber pieces out, and just open the hole big enough, and then push the these rivet nuts in, and I had to just pound it in. So so far it lines up. If I can hold this with one hand, so you got the holes all lined up, which is nice. It's not going to have some Downstar bolts and washers, beauty washers, on my license plate. So I'll probably do the same thing for the front. But since I'm in Ohio, I might not have to have front plates anymore, hopefully. So yeah, so that's pretty pretty easy install. So just drill out the top big enough, pound these suckers in, same thing. Drill out the bottom, pound these in, and you're good to go. And there you go. Now this install is complete, so it took me maybe 15-20 minutes, as long as you have all the tools. So you need a drill bit and a drill. I got an electric drill, got a hammer, and you need some rib nuts and some bolts. So yeah, that's pretty pretty easy install. So right now I just got these hand tight. So you got an M6 fender washer from Downstar and an M6 Rev nut from Downstar. I got the beauty washers from Downstar. So yeah, this is going to look nice.